stand here. <laughs> Yeah, but I was expecting it. A shark? Oh no, shark! Ah, shark! Oh. Yeah! <laughs> See? Oh, it's not that bad! Yeah! Sawyer! <laughs> Morning, welcome back to the channel. So here we are really enjoying one of the lakes that's fairly close to our house. This one's uh, maybe, a, maybe a 10, 12 minute drive. Uh, we do a lot of lakes and hot springs and take the kayaks up and paddle boards, that kind of stuff. And it's nice to have these little local spots like this where you can just have a day that you had planned and then everything kind of goes to shit and... We just decided, hey, let's go up to the lake. It's a nice hot day. It'll be a great day to actually get on the water and mess around. And, you know, here we're jumping off the edge. You don't normally get to jump off the edge at this particular lake because here in a couple of weeks, they'll start draining it to feed all the irrigation and the farms and stuff around where we live. And so you got to to really enjoy these little reservoirs like this. You got to get in fairly early in the year because as the year drags on, the Water is going to get lower. It's going to cause the water temperature to rise, and then we'll have a lot of algae and stuff, and it becomes dangerous for dogs and can be dangerous to people. And so having these local areas and knowing when to hit them up is is really important because, you know, we went out and we spent about four hours at the lake and had a really good time. And like I said, just a few miles from the house, and you would be amazed if you got looking at how many areas are probably right in your backyard that are, uh, fishing ponds, swimming ponds, that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, look on YouTube, people fishing in drains. There's there's a lot of cool places that you can hit up around your local area. So get out there and adventure. <laughs>